as photography always interested me and I was tired of digital photography and just got a little bit bored I guess. It was just quite predictable and everybody did the same thing so I just wanted to explore a different medium and, uh, and that's when I decided to uh, kind of start doing something completely different. 19th century photography it's, uh, it's definitely different and um, you know, it's a quite slow type of, uh, of photography. Um, to just to take one picture it can take up, up to about 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I'm drawn to it uh, because there's a certain element of surprise on it. You're not really sure what you have until you go back into a dark room and develop your image that it's basically it's an image on a piece of glass or a piece of aluminium. So I like the, the, the fact that it's almost a type of uncrafted photography, you know, it's tactile, it involves materials and chemicals, and the results I think are quite stunning, are very, very unique, you know, something that you can never compare to digital. Wow, that is cool, man. There's definitely a change as well in society where now I think people are getting a little bit pissed off and, and bored of those perfect images, you know. Um, human nature isn't perfect, so I don't see why images should be perfect. The advice that I give to if somebody comes for a, a small internship in the studio, it's uh, find something you love and just do that as a as your um, as your livelihood, you know, I think it's it's the basic for a happy life. I'm drawn to imperfections. That's why I'm passionate about analog photography.